what is up Pisces welcome to your general timeless reading <laughs> these are timeless so whenever you see this is when it's most meant for you these are also general so take what resonates leave the rest don't force it to fit if you want a personal reading or Reiki session my name is Jordan I'm a master Reiki practitioner you can book your session down below through my website in the description box if you want a free 15 minute reading check out my patreon channel that's where I do monthly readings energy shift readings moon cycle readings and weekly patreon only videos like share subscribe give this video a thumbs up it helps the channel grow hit that notification bell so you see when I post when I go live and we can hang out other than that let's get into it let's see what goodies we got for you I want to use uh, with, um, what is this called? Modern Witch Tarot. I almost call it Witch's Tarot. That is not what it's called. Modern Witch Tarot. All the tarot decks I used are listed down below. It's starting to shuffle better now that I'm using it more and more and more like a year later. But it is still by far one of the most laminated tarot decks I've ever experienced. <laughs> Let's see what's going on for Pisces, please. Show me what I most need to see for Pisces. I just heard unencumbered, um, which is a really like weird word. Uh, Six of Wands. I wanna know like the textbook definition of that word. Not having any burden or impediment. Hmm. Hmm. Unencumbered by not having the recognition. Okay. Not bothered. Okay. Not giving two Fs. That's cool. I like it. Oh, no wonder. Because you're a queen of freaking wands. That makes so, so much sense. So much, And it's Leo season. Queen of wands is my Leo card. Of course you're unencumbered. You're like, I'm a boss ass. I don't, I'm not bothered by anything. Because I'm hot. I'm successful. Even if I'm single as a freaking Pringle. I know I can have anybody I want right now, so I'm not bothered by anything. That's awesome. That's maze balls. Let's continue. What else we got for Pisces? You're sitting in a lot of fire energy though. Like I really almost felt like I was just doing a Leo reading. Five of Cups. Oh Lord. Why are you fluctuating though? I feel great. I feel fabulous. Ugh, I feel exhausted and drained. I feel great. I feel fabulous. I feel exhausted and drained. Five of Cups is kind of like my sulking card. It's my morning card. Ten of Cups. Yeah, see? Like I said, why are you fluctuating? You go from a five to a ten. From feeling fabulous to feeling down. From feeling fabulous to feeling down. What are you doing? What are you doing? Emotional roller coaster. That's what this is. Emotional freaking roller coaster. Yep. Six of Wands. I feel down. Queen of Wands. I feel fabulous. Five of Cups. I feel down. Ten of Cups. I feel fabulous. What are you doing? This is, this is, this inconsistency is what, it's almost like you're trying, I literally want to shake. Do you know that physically shaking actually removes energy from you? So like anytime I finish a Reiki session or tarot reading, I literally shake the energy off me. I go like this on my arms after, whoops, after I sage myself and whatnot, doing that actually like physically removes energy from you, like literally moving your body, like dancing, walking, exercising, grounds yourself, but actually removes the low vibrational energy from your energetic field. So I highly recommend getting your butt up off the sofa and off of your phone right now and go move. Just go move around, dance in the street, go, go do something. As my grandfather would say, go play on the yellow lines. Don't do that. Don't do that. If you know what he means, please don't do that. Even if you don't know what he means, don't do that. He was just an angry Italian old man. <laughs> He's funny. Um, <laughs> let's see, what else? Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, so now we have the two of pentacles in reverse. So there's the inconsistency, right? Wanting to get rid of it. Seeing really clearly that something is not sitting right with you. You want to maintain this Ten of Cups energy. And you're, you're starting to see how to do it. Yep, there's the hangman in reverse. Beautiful. Followed by the devil. Holy crap. Followed by strength. What? Followed by the tower. Four majors as your overall energy. That's incredible. That's awesome. 
And that's awesome. So the hangman in reverse speaks to coming out of this state of limbo, this state of not only inconsistency, but feeling stagnant, having that new perspective of, okay, I'm going to release my attachment to limiting beliefs or the part of me that keeps me stuck in a low vibrational energy, whether it be me falling back into depression, back into the sense of attachment to things, back into my ego, back into the little voice in my head that tells me I'm not good enough. I'm not lovable. I'm a failure. I'm, I'm this, I'm that. Shut up, Shannon. That's what I name my ego. Go drink your box wine in the corner. Leave me alone. I'm great. I'm fabulous. I'm, I'm a bombed out freaking calm, right? And then you're your high frequency self dot com again, right? I almost said bomb dot com again. And then you have strength. Strength is that confidence. It's that self-reliance. It's standing in your power, right? More Leo energy and the tower. Recognizing that you've broken this foundation down over and over. It's kind of like you're chipping away at it little by little. You're finally truly allowing it to fall away though. Okay, Pisces. Interesting read. This is like a lot of fluctuation. This is definitely emotional roller coaster vibes. So let's let's clarify. Mmm, so torn. I'm so torn. Ooh, okay, let's do Tarot Wonderland. Yeah, this is definitely you. This is definitely you. This is definitely your vibe. Okay. That is a nice shuffle. Okay. Let's look at the hangman. Knight of Pentacles, very nice. I like that. It's Virgo energy. And the Three of Pentacles. So you realize what steps you have to take. It's just a matter of setting that foundation for yourself. It's kind of like you uh, actually just heard you want to re be rebuilt and reborn. I almost struggled to say that though. I felt like a tongue twister. Rebuilt and reborn. Um... This feels like something that you've already had that you're you're fixing. It feels like repairs. This feels like another zodiac reading that I actually did today. Um, maybe it was Aries. Like I said, you have a lot of fire going on. Let's look at the hangman. Yeah, ten of swords. Ten of swords. You're you're trying to fix an old foundation. Ten of swords. You're allowing the toxicity of something to fall away, so you can repair it. And that's why the Three of Pentacles is in reverse. You can't really fix it yet because you're still chipping away at the old version that is toxic. So let's look at the Six of Wands in reverse. For Aries, please. I kept saying Aries, Pisces. Oh my gosh. See, I told you, you got all this fire. Pisces. Oh, Malanta. Six of Wands. Okay. Whew. Good. <laughs> it's like Spirit was like, we're going to wait for you to get the right zodiac sign, so we're just going to give you the same card. <laughs> I was like, hold up. No, not Aries. Pisces. <laughs> um, six of Wands on top of the Six of Wands is just validation for me as a reader that the channel message is correct. So if you do have strong Aries in your chart, I would definitely check out Aries because, like I said, it feels like really strong fire energy, like a lot of Leo, a lot of Aries going on. I'm really torn between Leo and Aries, to be honest with you. Queen of Wands is Leo for me as a reader. Um, there's a lot of fire, though. A lot of fire. And, and that energy of something toxic being repaired is very similar to the Aries read. Yeah, Knight of Swords and the Two of Swords. So it's almost like you're, you're finally starting to see what was keeping you stuck, what was keeping you stagnant. So if you felt recently that you kept hitting a wall, that you weren't able to come out victorious, that you weren't able to succeed, that you weren't able to get to this place that you felt was helping you achieve your goals, you're finally seeing how to get past that barrier, get past that obstacle, right? What's going on here? Let's look at this Queen of Wands. Queen of Pentacles, very nice. Capricorn energy. And then the Five of Pentacles. You are dealing with abandonment, though. 
there is abandonment going on here. It's like you're putting on this very strong face. Very strong face, Queen of Pentacles, feeling very stable, feeling very confident in yourself. Yeah, this abandonment. And okay, so this is good though. I actually like this. Just because you had this abandonment doesn't mean you were letting it cripple you though. You were very aware of it. You were actively healing it. Very actively healing it. Because with the Eight of Swords in reverse, you weren't allowing yourself to be consumed by it, which is why you're sitting in such healthy feminine energy with the Queen of Wands and a Queen of Pentacles. You're very confident, you're very grounded, you're very capable of building everything that you want to build and manifesting it. With this Five of Pentacles energy though, you might have had a tendency to really isolate yourself and do a lot of introspection with that Eight of Swords in Reverse. Eight of Swords in Reverse says that you were trying really hard not to let your thoughts get the best of you. To stay very grounded, to stay very in your power. But you still had your moments where you had to honor your emotions, right? Because just because you weren't allowing your thoughts to get the best of you didn't mean that in your heart space you still weren't working through this sense of abandonment or betrayal, right? <clears throat> or loss. Because the Five of Cups does speak to mourning and the Five of Pentacles does speak to a lack of mentality or a loss of some sort. So then we have the Ace of Swords and the Star in Reverse. You're seeing a missed opportunity. You're mourning a loss of something. It's a, it's a loss of something. Something that was really important to you at the star. It's something that was part of your path that you no longer have. Yeah, you're mourning it. You're going back and forth. It could be a person. It could be a situation. It could be a job. You're mourning something. Let's look at the Ten of Cups here. This is, this is, what, she, this is what it was most likely. Three of Wands. So there's an opportunity. For this Ten of Cups energy to come back. This is the repair. Because the star in reverse is missed opportunities. But like I said, this is second chances kind of to repair this foundation. Then we have the sun. There's your second chance. And then what's this one popping out? The nine of wands, the wounded warrior, right? Not giving up on it. Like, okay, I know I missed this opportunity once. I see the chance to have it again. Ace of Swords, right? The new beginning. My ships are coming in. I have achieved a higher state of consciousness. I see the light. I see the opportunity to be happy, to be prosperous. I know it's gonna take work. I know it's gonna take diligence. I know that I've been through a lot. I know that I'm tired right now. Between the nine of wands and the three of wands is the six of wands energy. I know what I need to do to be victorious. You already have the six of wands. I know I just need to take action, right? You have all the clarity, you're a knight of swords. Because before I was just keeping myself stuck by sitting in that devil mentality, right? By having that perspective of the ego, that attachment, right? So let's look at the two of pentacles in reverse. Let's see what you're dropping. Knight of wands, the runner mentality. So the fear of failure, the fear of things not working out in your favor, the fear of rejection, abandonment, right? The hermit, yep, at the ghosting card. So the runner and the ghost, right? The hermit in reverse and the knight of wands in reverse. That's, that's the energy that you're dropping. You're letting go of those two energies. You're no longer running from your Ten of Cups. You're telling yourself that you're deserving of happiness. You're deserving of love. I'm not taking all that. Let's talk about the Seven of Cups, what you're realizing. Three of Swords, yeah, the pain you're holding on to. You're just having sobering realizations. Then you have the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Wands and the High Priestess. Wow, holy crap. Tower, ending overall energy. That's amazing. Okay, so with the Ace of Wands in reverse, that's my card of second chances. Anytime I have an Ace in reverse, with the Three of Swords, the Seven of Cups and the High Priestess. The Seven of Cups is clarity. The High Priestess in reverse is seeing beyond your distortion and illusion. Because the Seven of Cups upright is distortion, illusion, daydreaming, fantasizing, right? You're seeing beyond... The, the false story you were telling yourself to mask your pain, right? You're seeing the reality of your pain and how it stopped you from achieving your Ten of Cups. And now you're getting a second chance at your Ten of Cups and you're finally allowing yourself to go through this transformation. Allow this tower moment to happen, to have a new perspective about the blocks you had in your emotional state that were stopping you from taking a Ten of Cups to feel truly deserving of love, intimacy, um, companionship, whatever your Ten of Cups is, right? And having the strength to truly allow that old version of yourself to fall away. You're, you're willing to change. You're willing to change. And that's an amazing thing. It's amazing. It's beautiful. Pisces. 
That's what I have for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you want a personal reading or a Reiki session, go ahead and book it down below. If you want a free 15-minute reading, go ahead and check out my Patreon channel. Like, share, subscribe. And I love you. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.